So hello fellow coin collectors, how you going today? My name is Glenn, and today I have some florins. So have a look at these florins. Not bad. So the oldest one is actually 1918, so it's 100 years old this year. And the grade actually gets better up into 1931. And these ones were issued up into 1936. And the 1936 mintage also had to cover 1937, so there's actually quite a lot of coins minted. But most of these mintings are actually uh, between 1 and 3 million for most years. So actually not that common a coin. But the price actually doesn't reflect the uh, rarity of it. Even for the 1932, and yeah, the price is... um a bit low for for whatever for what I think anyway so I have 1918 1923 1927 1931 now I'm making this video also to test my new internet from Optus uh, this one is with the MBN if you're not an Australian you don't know what the MBN is it's a uh, countrywide endeavor by the federal government to connect everyone to faster internet so, people in the United States are going, I want the keys, give me the MBN. Well, bad luck, unless your federal government's going to do it, which I doubt it very much. Um, then, uh, yeah, we're going to have faster internet. So, I'm going to check to see if the upload was faster. Because before, with um, the cable, I only had less than one megabyte per second upload. And this is supposed to be right, between 10 and 20 megabytes per second upload. So anyone, anyway, uh, the 1918 Florin, let me just take them out and we can have a look individually. So, look at my other coins in the background. These are the New Zealand ones I've done. I have some Taiwanese coins here, some Korean, some Indian, Swiss, uh, not Swiss, Swedish, Ah, some uh, Chinese, these are cash coins, Sarawak, Great Britain, some Australian coins over here. And that's not even 10% of my coins on this table. So, we have a 1918 Florin. This would probably be in good grade. I grade it. The mintage of these ones was um, 2,094,000. And in book catalogue, in a um, very good which is $15, but I would say that very good actually just gets bullion value. And it has Melbourne for minted in Melbourne, so under the date is M for Melbourne, and it's 92.5% silver. And these weigh 11.31 grams and are 28.5 millimeters. There are actually other mint marks from over years, but I actually have another lot of florins coming so I can show you. Those from 1910 to 1919. So, as you can see, the way I grade it is um, this side, really. As you can see, it's just totally flat. So I just grade this one as good. And also, a lot of the lettering has been worn down as well. So, these are 1918. Then I have the 1923. So this is supposed to be low mint and actually is it's not the lowest the mintage is um one million and thirty eight thousand but the value is actually less than the 1918 one which is uh has twelve dollars in very good and if we have a look at the other side yeah i'd probably class this as very good mainly even though it's worn down it doesn't look totally flat, it looks a little bit round, and also the lettering is actually quite good. So, that is a nice coin, if you ask me. But for a mintage of 1 million, the value is pretty low on this florins, so, yeah, it's sometimes hit and miss. And then I have the 1927. This has a mintage of 1,420,000. The book value in uh, VG in nine dollars, so that's near bullion value. This is Mal minted in Melbourne as well. 
Sold these florins after 1915 were minted in Melbourne. Uh, 24, 25, 26 were minted in Sydney. And up until 1936 in Melbourne. But uh, Melbourne doesn't have the mint anymore, it's all in Canberra. Have a look at that. That actually grayed that as fine. Because I could still see some diamonds in there. That's my personal opinion. Fine. So, meh, not a bad coin. And the last one I have, sorry if I get my hand in the way, it's in 1931. This one has a mintage of 3,129,000 value. VG grade is 8 bucks. It's nearly bullion. Um, so between 1929, 30, they actually didn't mint any florins. And 32, 33, and 35 are actually low mintage. So let's have a look at the other side. Yeah, I'll probably class that as fine as well. Not a bad coin. I actually quite like these florins. Not bad. They're the ones I mainly buy and sell as well. I usually get rid of most of them. Uh, a few I still have left over. But no problem. I don't mind keeping them. It's silver. It will never actually lose its value unless people decide they don't want silver anymore. Now what another metal as a bullion. So anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. And if you like phones and you have some, please leave a comment down below. And if you have any other requests for coin or banknote videos, please leave a comment down below. I can't guarantee I'll make it, but I'll try. So thank you very much. Give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye, people.